गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई राधिका फुलजले वेबिना कोऑर्डिनेटर वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ शाह एंड एंकर कच्ची इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज मुंबई इंडिया वी एट साके रिसर्च सेल विल टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू थैंक ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ यू प्रेजेंट हियर टूडे फॉर दिस हाइब्रिड वेबिनार सीरीज ऑफ इनोवेटिव एंड इमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजी इन द फील्ड ऑफ रिसर्च इन कोलेब्रेशन विथ ऑल अवर पार्टनर्स today our speaker dr abhijit zende is going to tell us about identifying research gap problems and solution our speaker dr abhijit zende is head department uh, department of civil engineering dr daulat rao ahir college of engineering karad he has 12 national and international association life membership he has 11 international journal editorial board member he has review more than 30 peer international journal reviewer his area of interest are land use land covering cover mapping climate change remote sensing application to water resources hydrology internet gist water resources irrigation engineering engineering mechanics advanced construction techniques construction engineering etc he has several publication like 20 international journal and 30 international conference before handing over to our speaker i would like to make some announcement for all my attendees that if you have any queries or you want to ask any question to our speaker throughout the session you can ask it via q and a chat box and most frequently asked question will be answered at the end of our webinar and feedback link will be provided at the end of the webinar now i hand over the webinar to our speaker dr abhijit zende sir hello sir hello sir can you share your screen yes yes please okay 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 uh, so share the screen again go to slide yes yes sir you can start now uh good morning all of you dear participant those who are attending the workshop the webinar online first i just want to thank the organizing committee of the mahavir education trust shahin anchor kuchi engineering college mumbai for giving me an opportunity for to give a webinar on the very important topic on the identifying research gap problems and solution nowadays it is very important to find the research gap so before that first we should understand what is meant by the research research is the composite of the two words re and search so means we have to search again and again search the new facts and to modify the older one as per the webster dictionary a careful critical inquiry or the examination in seeking facts or principles diligent investigation in order to ascertain the some things which is called as a research in the another term research may be defined as a careful and systematic process of enquiry to find answers to problems it is very important part we should investigate the problem systematically carefully and thoroughly so for this it is an organized systematic database critical scientific enquiry or investigation into a specific problems to find out the solutions for the it what do you mean by the true research it is a systematic investigation into the study of material sources in order to establish facts and the facts and reach the new conclusions research is a fact finding activity or the current scenario right now the entire world is facing the covid 19 the problem is there and many organizations many rnd cells many countries are trying to find out the vaccine of the covid 19 to for this they are going for the research again and again and for the 
the systematic investigation is required to find out the conclusion the exact vaccine which is overcome the particular covid-19 problem similarly what is the hardest part of the research important aspect is the asking questions asking questions to every aspect we can solve for the graduate school we are answering some questions similarly for the is it the questions may be asked continuously in the right question for the right obvious right problem if you ask the question it is gives it is very helpful to framing the problem because after the finding of the research gap the it will help to find out the research problem itself what are the various sources of research ideas always be working on the something human mind is always thinking something especially the technocrat the technical person or the medical field person or the management person they are thinking something new for a long period of time continuously it is very important if you are thinking thinking continuously it will help to find out the research something research components are there so for this the think about the problems what are the difficulties are there or some irritations are there if you are facing the, the some problems definitely some problems get irritated and how to overcome the particular irritations we have to just trying to search to have some solutions for the same and it gives some inputs regarding the research ideas similarly if you attend the various talks if you read the various papers the research articles journal paper conference papers if you take the some classes are there definitely it gives some idea regarding the research so every research article gives the future scope of the research because the research is not a, at the end it is just continuously it is a lifelong process so for the same it is required to attend to read the various papers the talks the seminars workshops and so continuously with the help of this the some assumptions some criticisms we will get come across accordingly for the phd work your advisor means our phd guide it gives some part related to the research ideas it is for the okay for the masters projects as well as the starting some projects some funding projects it's fine but it is not for the phd thesis topic because for the phd thesis topic if generally the advisor or the examiner will try to get something new component research component from the your particular research work they will ask the one question what is something new in your research what is the research component so with respect to this we have to try to find out the research ideas from the continuous period of going for various aspect regarding the uh, attending the lectures and many so on one important aspect is think outside the box many people they are thinking something outside the box so when you think something outside the box it is a new approach to the people new approach to the to overcome a problem or the any difficulty they are having so always try to think outside the box similarly bad ideas are essential if you go for the research work it is very important to to think some ideas all ideas are not good or all ideas are not bad some ideas are good some ideas are bad but the bad ideas are also essential they will give the guidelines as well as the suggestions to these are the not the ways or the methods to solve the problem for example you know we can say the um, any scientist so thomas alva edison or anyone those who are going for n number of uh, experiments to find out the electricity so almost more than 999 experiments were failed it gives that, that these are the bad ideas but those are essential then and then only the fruitful or the success will come 
here instead of bad ideas instead of no ideas bad ideas are better if you have no idea it's clearly indicate that you are not thinking something new something new approach related to find out the particular problem itself so the bad ideas are essential so then it's harder to teach the courage and imagination the imagination power or the courage to do something it gives something uh, your own inspiration is required for the same the your surrounding will help but every time it is not helpful to do to teach the courage and imagination for the same next one very important aspect the breadth first not depth first first you to think broadly not in detail detail or not in depth if you think broadly means if you just want to do the research you first you finalize the broad area for example if you go for the 360 degree analysis approximately 90 degree analysis or 90 degree the area of the scope of the particular subject you just finalize then afterwards you can reduce it from 90 to 45 then 20 and then likewise you just come across to the particular point regarding the to find out to finalize the research component and so so the bad ideas are essential next one very important aspect why we are doing for the research aim of the research now uh, right now i am giving an example regarding the to find out the covid 19 vaccine this is our aim so for this aim the many researchers are going for the research to finalize to get the covid 19 vaccine similarly here the goal of research is to solve the problem of interest and the problem may be the theoretical or practical in nature maybe it is a community tend to more interesting uh, in research that pushes in the frontiers of the knowledge it can be described predict explain interpret or demystify the phenomena so for the same the aim of research is very important why we are doing the research generally the research scholar or phd holder to get a degree to complete the phd work and getting the promotions part they are going for the research similarly some of the agents some of the persons they are going lifelong they are doing the research for the lifelong after finalization of the aim what are the research type one way is to classify by the functions functions by by using the functions the research can be classified basic or the pure research is motivated by the curiosity and aims to advance theoretical knowledge some research are fundamental basic research some are advanced some are the the all the types we will discuss later on in the detail itself here some are applied research applying scientific theory to real life problems similarly the classified they are different natures they will overlap and merge from one to another depends upon the requirement the research types may be transferred from one class one type to another type in the continuation of the same we are taking the sample example of management related research is a exploratory research second is a descriptive research third is experimental research in the first part is exploratory research is unaware about the problem so what is there they are not knowing the what is the actual problems are there they are not knowing the what is happening why we are going for the particular research itself second is a descriptive research aware about the problem they know these are the problems are there but they don't know what is the exactly details or clearly define the problem why the problem occurs they know the overall the problem itself similarly for the experimental research the problem clearly defined and for the research if the problem is clearly defined it's quite easy to proceed further because to complete the research many resources are required for the same we'll go for the research types in detail the five research types first is the basic pure as well as the fundamental research second exploratory research third applied research fourth development research fifth design research we will discuss one by one 
for the first part basic or fundamental research it is the original investigation for the advancement of the scientific knowledge that do not have the specific objectives of application to practical problems so she does, this is a fundamental research it is a experimental or theoretical work undertake preliminary to acquire new knowledge of the underlying foundation of phenomena for the fundamental research it is not subject to the time restraint and an open ended second one exploratory research it is aims to clarify concept and problems it is also the open ended looking for something which might form the basic for a successful research projects for development it's closely allied to underlying basic research in which there is an objective same things are there right research for a new drug and examining the biological effects of a new range of chemical material so whatever i discussed regarding the covid 19 it comes under the to find out the new drug or new vaccine and examining the biological effects on the new range of the chemical material this is a second type of research third one is a applied research research directed towards the practical application of knowledge it is a it is a creation and evaluation of a new concept or components but also not development for the operational use so whatever the research components are there it should be get applied somewhere so it again it can be converted into the entrepreneurship if you apply the research in the particular domain itself likewise the creating the consultancy work etc and so on so application of existing scientific knowledge to the problem of its own institution it comes under the applied research fourth type is a development research it is a knowledge towards the production of useful material devices systems or the some methods including design and development of prototype and processes development in the terms of two one is the product development and second is the process development if at the end of the particular research if some new product will come out which is help to industry or combination of the product component and second one the processes sometimes the product may not get developed some processes are there or the ways or the methods which can be used for the further development itself so regarding the control and control systems and changes of improvements in manufacturing and process technologies this is the fourth one and fifth is the design research which is directed at the cost performance improvement to existing products processes or systems recombinations modifications and testing of systems using existing knowledge or operation of new concepts are there parts and component research generally this design aspects are the if you take considering the engineering aspect it is the electronics some new designs are there new concept new components they are designing so automobile sector is there and then the mechanical some new materials are there they are going for the designing some new materials or the creation of some new materials so it can be useful for the further research and so for the research should contain every research should contain a venue of quest in question or investigation same second one the specific of well defined domain third a well led hypothesis fourth one capable of being based upon the observable data scientific techniques of analysis and last one logical interpretation of the results when you compile all the parts with some example i will explain all the details later on after the 5 minutes i will explain the details how the research should contain each and every aspect so research component is related to the problem so what is the problem the definition of the problem is a difficulty of theoretical or practical nature that causes an inquiring attitude of a subject and leads him to the enrichment of his knowledge itself also the linhart's explains the definition it is an interactive relation between a subject and its surrounding 
which incorporates the inner conflict that is solved by the subject by searching of transition from initial condition to the final condition. Generally, if you face some problem, definitely the research component will take place because we are trying to find out the problem, try to solve the problems in the various ways. Some ways are correct ways, some ways are not correct. At the end, some researcher comes to the conclusion, some researchers not come to the conclusion. So according to the problem, it is the research work will continue for the same. So research problem. So first we'll discuss related to the problem. What is mean by the problem? And second one with reference to the problem, what is meant by the research problem? It is nothing but a well-defined and a structured research problem is the heart of the research project. Very important aspect. If we get a proper defined and structured research problem, our almost we can say more than the 30% work is completed. Regarding the research proposal, while submitting the research proposal, we have to find out where to finalize the research problem. The evaluator might ask what is it trying to investigate? What do you want to do for the same? And similarly, the next question is there regarding the proposal, how the your research will get benefited for the general people or the local people. It is not related to the particular domain. Your research should be generalized. It should be applicable to all the entire world itself. We can or the general people will get benefited from your research. So to do the, the research problem, the proposed puzzling, which is helpful to build the research problem itself. For the same, we have to go for the literature review and with the help of literature, which is a literature gap. The literature research gap is the missing or incomplete piece of data in the literature which has not been explored or ventured into the so far. If you, for the same, I'm giving an example. If you read the research paper, might be we will understand a particular uh, paper thoroughly. Sometimes all the steps which are included or the methods or the any methodology which is used to fulfill the particular objective, which is mentioned but not clearly stated. So it is something as missing, some are incomplete. Depends upon some papers are giving the full information, but sometimes itself the paper, even though after reading the paper, we cannot understand the paper clearly. So it can be anything but to everything from a population of samples. Generally, we are not staying with the one part. First part, second, third, fourth and fifth and so on. It's minimum two sizes, two types, two methodologies are there, various types of data and so. Regarding the literature gap and future research, we are having the some uh, steps which are included, the problem identification, then the review of literature, the clarity of the problem, then the next one, the define terms and concept clearly, define the population, develop a plan, collect the data and analysis of the data. So these are the some general uh, literature gap and the future research concept for the same. After that, we'll come to our important aspect, what is mean by the research gap, how to find the research gap. So research gap is defined as a topic or area for which missing and insufficient information limits the ability to reach a conclusion for the question. So again, the second way it is, which is the research question which has not been addressed properly. Regarding the same after reading, if a researcher or research scholar we just tentatively finalize the broad area of the research. And accordingly, you just try to collect the various papers. But it is not, but in the uh, search engine, various search engines are there. N number of uh, thousands of paper are published every day. So it is not possible to read each and every paper which is belongs to our 
uh, we can say the top peak or the area or interested uh, area of interest interesting. So which is while going for thousands of paper, we have to just curtail our scope and finalize the areas which is very small, uh, very keen regarding the to finalize the research component research care. So with the help of this, it is very helpful to take the uh, limits and the ability of the decision makers for making the decisions. Because if you are having the 100 research gaps are there, it is not possible uh, one person or the researcher who will just complete try to complete uh, try to find out the solutions as other answers of 100 research components research gap components are there. So regarding the same, it can be finalized one, two, three, according to their scope and limitations are there. So what it was, it is, is it? What is meant by the research gap? How to identify it and how to make use of it so that you can pursue innovative research. Innovative research is the important aspect regarding the research gap. It is a continuation for the same it is a research gap is a topic or area for which missing or insufficient information limits the ability. For example, identifying the broad area and then selecting the specific area can lead the problem identification. First part regarding the conceptual model by using all the literature parts, some models some details are there. We're getting the research gap and research gap then can try to convert in the research problem itself. So again, what two definitions are there? As for the transfer, a systematic research begins with the identification of keywords and search terms, which will which are built from the scoping study, the literature and discussion within the review teams. So it is a keyword search, research gap, problem identification, systematic review, meta-analysis, citation analysis, and content analysis. We have to take care of all the various aspects, various terms, various areas, which is very helpful to finalize the research gap as well as the research problem. Next important part, what is the importance? Why we have to go for the research gap? What is the importance of the research gap? So why we need to identify identify and prioritize research gram from systematic review. So here one term is added, added prioritization of the research gap. If you go for the starting step, the primary research, then the go for the systematic review, assessment of gap, prioritization of new research, funding opportunities, conduct new research, systematic review updates. So if you go for the same, for the particular problem. For the example, 10 research gaps are we identified. So again, this among this 10, which is we have to we have to prioritize all the research gaps according to the requirement, according to the progress of the research, according to the funding availability again is there because some research are required funding. Some require require the stakeholders, the details. Funding opportunities are not there. It is not possible to proceed for the research. So while consideration of all, it is very important to compile all the research gap together and then prioritize the research gaps. So which is related related to the funders, the any domains are there uh, regarding all aspects, engineering, medical, advocate, legal, clinical and many more. So prioritization of research gap is very much important. So for the starters, those who are going to uh, enter in the research gap, finding the issues, we are just going to classify the three classes. First class, the class of researchers who are who act according to the personal enthusiasm. For doing a research, every person, it should have its own enthusiasm, motivation, own motivation. I just want to do something. I just want to try to find out the solution of the, this problem and so on. If such types of class is there, it can go for the first class researchers and so on. For the second class researcher, by the, it is encouraged by the peripheral factor. It generally happen in the various aspect 
in the institutions are there if the one or two faculty members are completing the research the remaining are just interested they are interested to do the research it is peripheral factors are there especially regarding the professorship and the promotion for the same third class or class 3 group we can say it is related to the society or will force to focus mostly especially for the agricultural sector some agriculture issues are there some agricultural problems are there to overcome this particular problem the peoples are trying to find out the solution these are the sorts of types of research we can say uh, in the our uh, routine language is a deshi jugad so try to solve the problem as per the minimum cost and as per the new concept new approaches uh, to overcome the problem itself while continuation of the same some general rather sample approaches to finding gaps research questions and the topics first we have to uh, learn first we have to read the paper introduction if you are having the one paper we have to read the abstract carefully in the abstract it gives the clear idea regarding the what is the details in the particular paper and second part is a conclusion so after this completion of the particular research the outcome expected outcome or the conclusion of the particular research then some papers they are mentioning the future scope of the research or suggestion for the future research so this point we should understand clearly so systematic review it is related to the content analysis report citation analysis report meta analysis report key concept state of art paper and many more points are covered while regarding before proceeding for the finding of the gaps research questions as well as the topics some papers we will understand clear some paper we will not if we are unable to understand the paper so we have to think why we are unable to understand the particular paper what is the missing data is there missing component is there or some new methods are adopted which is not familiar to us which is not we are not having the any information as well as knowledge about the particular aspect particular methods and so so we have to compile all the information together which will help to find out the research gap as well as the research questions and the topics for the same next part how to eliminate the research gap the organization most commonly use the variations of the picos it is a framework the population intervention comparison and the outcomes which is related to the identification and classification of the reasons why the research gap exists and second one is a characterization of the research gap using the picos we can the population intervention comparison outcomes setting element and so so first we have to we have to understand why the research gap exist uh, for the researcher all various components are there but it can going to touch and going to take care of each and every research gap according to the time allocation according to the facility available uh, available funding facilities are there funding opportunities are there and the requirement data availability is there many constraints are reg there regarding the uh, uh, completion of the research and so so first part identify reasons for the existing of research gap to so choose the most important reason for the existing of the research gap most important reasons so we have to think outside the box something thing different way why the exist gap exist is there any lacuna in the availability of the resources is there any lacuna available of the any methods uh, material or equipment and so on why it is there so it is a most important reasons second important part we going to prevent conclusion about the evidences from being made regarding the classification of the research gap including insufficient or imprecise information sometimes the information or the data which is required to complete the task which is unavailable or not completely available some missing some data is missing 
so such types of in such types of cases definitely it will affect to the results second is a biased information third is the inconsistency or unknown consistency and fourth is not the right information so whatever the data we required to go proceed for the research it depends upon the availability of the uh, data which is required for the to finalize the research gaps and then the overcome the problems and so second part is a characterization of the research gaps regarding the framework first is the population information regarding the population that is not adequately presented in the evidence base sometimes some research required the uh, survey uh, survey reports the so survey reports which are going to collect from the people locally available people who are giving the information and for all cadres itself regarding the gender male female race then the age and many more so such types of information or the survey uh, information it can be used for the research work the intervention important part information regarding the specific intervention that is inadequate included included in the evidence base the duration of the intervention i'm giving you an example for the intervention for one area if you are if you want to procure or if you want to get the satellite images to go for the simple analysis land use land cover analysis but for a particular area if you take the last 30 years data and if the data is continuously not available or the some years are missing it is means 5 years then the 10 years 15 years 20 years it is having some standards are there it can be possible to go for the intervention means first year then the 10th year then the after 50th year the data which is regularly interventions which is required similarly go for the rainfall analysis rainfall events data so yearly rainfall monthly rainfall weekly rainfall as well as the daily rainfall so such types of data interventions which is very important regarding the analysis of the research third one is the comparison lack of information regarding the comparison of intervention or, or the standard deviation we have to compare the various information because sometimes the same information can given by the two or three different resources we have to go for the comparison whereas which one is the authenticated one and which is authentic authenticated one as well as the correct one we have to use that much of the particular data itself fourth one is the outcomes information regarding outcomes of the interest organized by the type of outcome timings of outcome and delineate whether the information is lagging or not after completion of the research every time there some outcome will come but whether the type of outcome which is a comes which can be used in the further research because the result which is very important next part is the setting information regarding the relevant settings for the research gaps so for all the various points if you club together for for example if you are having the data for last 50 years and if you go for the analysis trend analysis or something standard analysis are there in the simulation part some part is simulation part some part, some areas data is required for the calibration part some uh, part of the, or some areas of data is required for the validation part because the observed value and the uh, model simulation values which are appropriately close to each other or whether there any are any variation big variations or less likely variations in between those results we have to compare all the results club together so that it is required for all the details are there next important part research ethics all the researchers are know while publishing the paper the plagiarism detection is every journal they did regarding the plagiarism cut and paste is not allowed or some journals they mention maximum 70% or 80% it can be it should have your own contribution maximum 20% you can go for the cut and paste so with the same things it is a some most people think of the ethics they think of rules for distinguishing between the right and wrong some people are doing the same research 
same component same problem but they are giving they are getting the some different results and if one i am not getting a result for example i should just try to observe try to get the guidelines from the another how the where i am doing the something wrong why i am not getting the result correct results secondly it is a norms of for conduct that distinguish between the acceptable and unacceptable behavior whatever i told regarding the publishing the paper unacceptable behavior if your paper will detect more than 30% of plagiarism straightly your paper will get rejected means it is unacceptable behavior regarding the research there are several reasons why it is important to adhere the ethical norms of the research n number of points are there because in the research it should have your own contribution own work we are that's why we are giving the copyright forms so this is, this is work is my own it is not copied somewhere else so such types of included in the research work any research work we have to give such types of undertaking in the continuation of continuation of this it gives the promote the aims of research such as the knowledge truth and avoidance of the errors if you go for the pure research true research it just definitely increase your knowledge truthness as well as the some errors we have to neglect some errors which can be take place while going for the after research and so on with the same it is a great deal to for the cooperation coordination among very different people in different disciplines and institution ethical standards promote the value that are essential to collaborate work such as the trust accountability mutual respect and the fairness so one person cannot go for the entire research many stakeholders are helping for the same because all various aspects are there in research various aspect various persons uh, help directly or indirectly to complete the research and so, so ethics uh, in the research to stick with the ethics is very important which is held to be accountable to the public every research should be get benefited this research outcome will get benefited to the local people general people then and then only it is helpful for the same next one we can say ethical norms and research is also helps to build the public support for research if the research is help to the public definitely the public will help to the particular research means if the one researcher can solve one problem of the public definitely the public will trust on the particular researcher this is one researcher who will help who will try to solve the problem in a very authenticate decent and uh, appropriate way itself so public more likely to fund research project if they can trust the quality and integrity of the research so people contribution people uh, involvement is plays a vital role in the any type of research with the same some moral and social values are there such as the social responsibility human rights animal welfare compliance with the law and health and safety so these are the some parts of the uh, research ethics and ethical lapses in research can significantly harm human and animal subject student as well as the public the position of research gap within a research study if you go for the details first we have to go for the primary research second is the literature review third is the evaluation of the gaps fourth is the prioritization of the new research and last one is the funding opportunities so with the help of this whatever the point we discuss uh, earlier the regarding the literature review compile the gap the analysis and compile for the same and the last one very important aspect is the funding opportunities what to say for the research life cycle first is the concept and planning what is the problem actually how to go for the how to overcome the problem what is the research component to fulfill the research component what are the various methods resources and many more 
So with the help of when we club together all the concept together and if we effectively plan. So first step is a concept term planning. Second one is exploring and organizing. Prioritization of the research gap. One, two, three, four. You should go for the bar chart or the stepwise. First uh, regarding the time span, first three months. These are the this is a particular step or the area or the uh, point should be completed. Then the next three months, next three months. Likewise, I'm giving an example. Likewise, you can proceed further for the uh, organizing of the entire research. Then collection and analysis for the same for the complete of any research. Any data is required, any material is required, any equipment is required. Any anything related to this, we have to compile together. We have to collect together. We have to and then after the collection, we have to analysis of the data. Some data is ready made. Some data we have to generate. Those who are going for the practical experimentation, they have to create the data. And after creating the data, going for the analysis of the data. After analysis of the data, it goes for the output, output and the publication. So after analysis, some outputs we are getting and outputs we have to publish. So another researcher, another public, general public will get benefited from our entire work. So publication is mandatory. It is required regarding the uh, authentication as well as some research are patentable. So if you publish the paper, uh, publish the uh, uh, your patent, then and then only it is your own ideas. So with the respect of this, which is required for the publication of your research, then the impact and engagement. After publication or after actually implement uh, applied, what is the impact on the general people? Whether the problem will get solved or some complications are occurred or something other than this, we have to go for each and every impact regarding the research as well as engagement. What is the difference between the before and after before implementation of the particular solution or the problem solving solution and after uh, implementation of the problem solving solution? This is a general research life cycle. Following uh, points while framing the research gap. First very important aspect. Look out the topics or area for which are adequate and limits the ability of reviewers to reach a conclusion. Very important aspect. Research gap identification. If a one researcher is finalized the research gap, but the data as well as the which is the equipment which is required to complete the task, the funding agency is not there. We should not choose the particular research gap because limits and adequacy, which is important aspect. Second thing, establish an analytic framework illustrating the relationship of gaps to the key questions and analysis analytic framework to the review. Regarding the same, the what are the various gaps are there, which is uh, correlate to the key questions and analytic frameworks to the review itself. With the help of this, examining the gaps identify are within the scope of the key research questions form. These are the some points I'm just saying related to the research scholar. Research scholar cannot do the work, research work for a five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20, 30, or more than 20 years and so. It is having time constant. Maybe the two years, three years, depends upon person to person, topic to topic, and area to area, it varies. But it should have some defined period is there, tentatively. Sometimes definite research period research cannot complete within a stipulated period. It can increase or decrease the period itself. It depends upon availability of the various reports, uh, uh, availability of the various data resources as, as well as that some uh, some uh, unavoidable uh, discrepancies or disturbance will come across. So with the help of prioritize the gaps identify based on the objectives relevance to the issue in hand and the scope of study which can be carried out as well as the availability of the appropriate data and availability of the recruit subject. So all the various aspects, the guidance, what is that which is required to complete the task, 
the assistance sometimes they required sometimes support sometimes advice sometimes help these all the various points which is very useful while framing the research gap how do we find the research gap the existing research identify research gap can seem over living or even impossible with the same it is related to the public health engineering management so what are i told i don't have time to read every paper published on the particular aspect for example i am a civil engineering domain i cannot read the thousands of paper of the civil engineering domain i should finalize among the civil engineering i should synchronize or finalize a small area which is very helpful for the my research gap so among this all civil engineering transportation the uh, water resources engineering structural engineering irrigation engineering then we can go for the highway engineering bridge engineering and so n number of sub sectors are there so among this we have to go for the water resources likewise it is try to just cope up with a small area which is your interest your area of interest is very important so with the help of this you can identify the research gap so few steps we can go for go for the find out the research gap identify your key motivating issue or the questions before starting why i am going for the research why i am doing the research what is my inspirational or motivational part so we we have to think for the same second part is identify key term associated with the issue for example water sector so some terms are there related is are the drought flood water scarcity excess water and so on so with the help of this which is very much important to finalize the key terms associated with the issues when for many more aspects are there next one aspect review the literature searching for these key terms and identify relevant publications when you start the to try to find out research gap almost go for the last 5 years or maximum 10 years last year published paper because last 10 year published paper covers couple of years back published paper their uh, their references in their new research because it is a continuous process the research is going on continuously so before starting you don't go right now it is 2020 it is not necessary to It, uh, take the paper of 1950 or 1970 or 90, 2000 it is not necessary itself sometimes on the some aspect maybe but generally if you take 2010 to 2020 last 10 year papers you get the entire literature which is related to your scope or to find it which, which will help to find out the research gap next one the review of literature cited by key publication which are located in the above step if one paper is cited more it's clearly indicate that the paper is worth and the quality of the research is very good which can be used again and again with the help of this we can proceed for the further research or the future scope of the research which can be take place which can be available possibilities are there with the help of previous research so citation of the particular paper it is very important identify issues not addressed by the literature relating to your critical motivating issue some are there some papers are there where the such types of issues are not addressed some many components are there so uh, in the my uh, case study one case study i am going to present in the case study i give the some guidelines i am giving the some uh, points which is related to the literature uh, relating to the your critical motivation and so you can also track the authors by the direction of the future research which often can point us toward the existing gaps many papers they are mentioning future scope for the research they are giving the direction in which direction the new researcher should go should proceed so with the this helps this particular guidelines definitely help for to finalize to uh, to the research gap in the broad sense the, the process of research gap identify the broad area so right now i say first we have to think broadly not precisely or to the point 
if you think broadly broad area and after that try to synchronize try to curtail various factors and just come out from the very small aspect means here i'm giving an example related to the every sector just think all of us 90 degree broad area then go for the 45 degree then go for the 22 then come to the particular points so here you will get the research cap as well as the research component second part is their method of identification after getting the particular point particular objective research gap how to find out the uh, identification methods then feasibility of research gap whether the research gap is feasible for the particular researcher or not if not it is not possible to take a chance take a attempt to proceed for the research particular research after feasibility of the research gap selection of research gap if you are getting the 10 research gaps one researcher cannot do the 10 research gap, 10 research component work on the again the time constraints are there, resources constraints are there, many aspects are there. They can among the 10, this is for example, among the 10 they can choose one or two, max three, depends upon the scope of the work and so. And after completion of this particular gap, expected outcome. What is the expected outcome after the completion of the particular research gap analysis? So what we get, what is expected are after the, uh, if you are taking the attempt of the particular research, what is the expected outcome for the same? This is the one again research gap analysis, where we go for the same research gap table, expected outcome, research gap, selection for the research gap, viability of the research gap, research gap identification method, evidence-based practice, medical research gap. This is related to the medical aspect. Engineering something different, Management is something different and the arts and something uh, for side, there is something different as so. This is conceptual model for research gap analysis. First part is the citation analysis. Right now I told most cited paper, which definitely help for them to find out the research gap. And the author and the area. So citation analysis of every paper, it definitely helps to finalize the research gap. Second is content analysis report. What are the various reports are there which is mentioned related to the various contents? The various content they are mentioning and that some reports are there. We have to go thoroughly for the reports analysis, meta analysis, systematic review, future research and limitations. So when you club all the points together, it gives you are definitely it is gives some guidelines related to the finalization of the research gap. Systematic reviews are really important because if after the reading of one paper, what will understand convert all the entire paper paper into a small paragraph, almost the five to ten sentences. What do you understood after the reading the thoroughly a particular research paper? It is very much important the systematic review. So future score research as well as there some limitations are there. Some research cannot be done. Sometimes they can, some researchers can say, but we have to think why it is they are putting such types of statements. What are the limitations for the same? Is there any opportunity? Is it possibilities are there or not possibility? If it is possibilities, how we can uh, take the particular problem in a very effective and decent way? While compilation of all, it is club to the research cap and the research gap then they convert into research identification problem identification because the conversion of this uh, conceptual model it definitely helps to the problem identification next is i discover few research gap what i do right now i'm getting some gaps what should i do right now for the same first one it's very important part is critical to prioritize if you are getting the two, five, ten, whatever the research gaps are there, try to prioritize all the gaps in a very effective and uh, efficient manner. Systematic way, prioritization, it should be done. Very, very important aspect. Second thing, you should consider your funding agency who is going to fund, giving the fund to complete the research. We, sh we should always think for the same because every research are required some, all the various types of resources. Without resources, the research cannot be completed. So the funding agency it is very important. 
similarly the various stakeholders which are going to be included whether directly or indirectly in the particular research work the next part the need of the field why the research is it possible is it essential in the to work in the particular uh, area as well as the relevance of your questions whatever the questions comes in our mind while thinking about the problem whether this particular gaps are relevant to this or not if not why not and if yes why yes we have to just get some uh, you can say the some relevance some proper justification is required to go for the same similarly your own resources and ability to conduct the research test every person is having its own ability own um, capability we can say own interest own motivation and many more of our own enthusiasm which is very helpful to complete the research so every person know our many strength as well as the weaknesses where it is our strength and weaknesses definitely helps to finalize our own resources as well as the ability to conduct the research for the same so these are the details you should do when we are getting the research gap and after completion of the all the entire work proceed for the some aspect regarding the actual researchers work so it can narrow your research down to the appropriate question miss broad area just narrow it and just come to the small small very small area which is your specific research component of your research work tools to help your research how to get the research gap the one we say the literature review is there then uh, we can go for the, some books refer text or uh, text uh, papers are there text books are there many more aspects are whatever the important points are there some search engines are there some search engine services are there like this a pub crawler fairly google scholar pubmed updates it is gives the some detailed information regarding the upgradations total latest upgradation related to the particular area also date on the social media forums which scholars can new discoveries such as the twitters it also gives some areas some new upgradations some new inventions which is related to the area reference managers such as the mendeleev also help to reference well organized similarly the most important thing i want to impress upon uh, you today you will be struggle to innovate and exciting research if you don't know the existing literature well so along with this we can go for the essential science indicators google trends regional interest index the related top search are there social mention is there springer google ads broad readers are there also some academia.edu we can go for orcid uh, and we can go for the engineering village and many more so also the research gate these are the some search engines are there where you will get the various information regarding the upgraded latest uh, research uh, uh, upgradation in the particular domain where all the various researchers comes on one platform they are going to offer their research they publicize their they public their research in a wide domain around the globe itself so here you will get these are the some search engines are there again and some more are there we can go uh, we can collect the information for the uh, research itself next part is the characteristics of the great research how can we can say the great research the four important points are there in the great research first is the idea second is the execution third is the presentation and fourth is the people in this idea first regarding the idea we should have some problems in your mind and to try to find regarding the problem try to find out the solution of the particular problem if we are having such types of idea then we try to find out the ways how to overcome the particular problem how to solve the particular problem and so regarding the same after these are the second step third step is the presentation after trying you will get something results might be the results are correct might be the results are not correct whether the expected outcome you will get sometimes the expected outcome you will not get depends upon the topic or the area of the research 
accordingly and the last one we will so it is not a one part one person's activity even though the research is alone but directly and indirectly many people many persons many agencies are helped to complete the research so always for a great research we will say we will means for our saying this is if the data is not available the we cannot create the data sometimes it is possible sometimes it is not possible for example i am saying rain gauge station data river gauge station data where the some government agencies are recorded the rainfall data as well as the rain, river gauge data so these data they will provide us for the analysis for the same if we call it a good research paper talk results and what is the remarkable about it these are the details for the characteristics of the great research well presented research convince you whether the problem is interesting second is the problem is hard and third whether author has solved the problems or not if the, how do we can say the problem is interesting it is the effect on human welfare corporate profits defense and so it is the evidence based other people have worked on it every person is own interest own enthusiasm own area of lacking passionate about to do something in a particular domain itself so with the help of it is related the problem is interesting or not second is the problem is hard all smart people have tried it various various people they tried but they are unable to solve the problem obvious opportunity uh, approaches do not work and the problem persists over time may sometimes some problem get solved by the period of time and sometimes the problem get again harder and harder over the period of time so with the help of all this aspect whether we have to just well presented research which is very helpful and the authors have solved the problem the technical details evaluation such as proofs or the experiment some problems some uh, researchers are solved the problem what are the technical details what are the various methods they adopted what are the various models they adopted or they use the models the method the material the data uh, and the analysis method the tools and many more aspect whatever that use to solve the problem it is very helpful regarding the well presented research then the evaluation such as the proofs as well as, as, well as the experiment so these all the points are related to the problem itself the problem is interesting problem is hard and the author has solved the problem and so next part is the automation find a task that is currently done manually or that is time consuming or difficult sometimes the manually manual calculations on manual work it cannot be possible so we have to go for the some automation part some automation softwares are there couple of years back due to the unavailability of the softwares as well as hardwares the research part or research uh, we can say the research methods are uh not that much of updated but continuously due to the upgradations in the research domain the automation sectors uh which definitely help to go for the uh, research work very easily and so thoroughly examine the manual process definitely if you go for the manual process there is some might be there some possibilities or errors are might be occurred so what are the manual process are there what are the details for the same is there any lacuna is there any difficulty is there a possibility of the to create some errors and so which can be minimized by going for the automation what reasoning does the persons do and can can you automate that process some process are there likewise if you are having the data for large long period of time or the large data you can go for the simulation the simulation softwares are there it definitely help to the details for the same then go for the contrarism turn the conventional wisdom on its head the do do the opposite of the whatever everyone else expect similarly sequential parallel program solve the same problem and it's better in the same ways for the same right now i'm giving an example for the same every country is trying those trying to find out the covid-19 vaccine the problem is same and majority of the people are using the same base they are just trying to find out but some of them are getting the real correct result but due to the taking the advantage 
as well as the uh, we can say the credit in the entire world. Nobody is sharing their ways to all. So uh, we are using this is a method or the practice which is very helpful to find out the vaccine of the COVID-19. So stops of uh, points we should consider for the same. Notice contemporary approaches are there. So we can go two approaches to the problem whether the one is used and other is not used. Another problem whether the static or the dynamic. Static is the sound and conservative and dynamic is precise does not generalize. So it depends upon the problem. Some problems are generalized. Some problems are not generalized. The generalized problems uh, again we can discuss in the detail itself. Then go for the next part. Combine existing techniques. Existing techniques apply one after the other. Another. If one problem or any issues are there, existing techniques we should apply and I'll get the results. If you apply the combination of the one, two, three, or that are the various methods or the processes are there, what will be the results? I create a hybrid analysis. Generally, if you go for the some hybrid analysis, definitely we will get something different result which might be useful for the to solve the particular problems and to complete the research task. Also go for the cross fertilization. Take an approach from one domain and apply it to another. Sometimes one domain the approach can be applied for the another itself. This is example related to the machine learning, statistics, biology and so on. So these are the some points which are very helpful to finalize the, to overcome the to solve the problem, overcome the particular problem and with the help the fill in the gaps. Review your previous research couple of years research papers, research articles, research journals, research anything with the reports. We have to go for the review. Are there themes or commodities? And find a way to fill the gaps. This is a very important aspect. I'm saying this is particularly useful for creating a PhD thesis out of a sequence of successful projects. If you go for the, the graduate level project or the master level project, you have to think related to a particular problem and try to solve the problem. But sometimes maybe the these projects we are going to be convert into research. Uh, research, uh, we can say research work. Generally, this is related to a small aspect and try to solve the some aspect and so. Next important point is a goal versus technique. What is the research project requires? Goal or the aim or the problem we can say and the technique, the technical approach. So what are the advantages of the starting with the goal? Without goal, if you start the research, it is not a fruitful one. We are not having the proper direction in which direction if you proceed, then we'll reach to our destination. We will get the complete, uh, we'll getting some expected outcome at our hand at the end of the day particular or the end of the period itself. It is more, most, more likely to find a technical approach and it is also to be a novel and relevant. It is very important to have a proper goal in your hand or the problem uh, identification, which is definitely help for the research gap analysis and so on. Also for the techniques, fit to complete, you probably already have it come implemented. Fit fills, fit well with your other work. If you are having the technical approach or technical, uh, we can say the techniques in your hand, it is quite easy, time saving, energy saving as well as the fund saving. It is by using the technique, it is very easy, quick to complete the task for the same. What is the secret weapon? Every person is having the secret weapon. Means if you just go for the strength and weakness analysis of the every person, every person is having the some strength and among the strength, one skill is having this very uh, unique sets of skills skills as well as the experiences or expertise for the particular domain itself. This is a your secret weapon to which is very helpful to complete the research work. You have taken a particular combination of the classes for the same. Also, you have a friend with a tool, technique or knowledge. You thought of uh, it first new approach for the same. You are willing to work harder. So according to your secret weapon, you can proceed because every research work what they expect, what they required, what is the details uh, uh, to complete, fulfill, are required to fulfill the particular objectives, to, to, to complete the task, to um, get the solution of the particular problem, 
the what are the ways are there what are the importance points so use your secret weapon to complete the task for the same passion of your work if you are passionate about your work if you love your work definitely it is quite easy to complete the task means you you should everyone just uh, everyone should love their work so your intellectual curiosity about a topic is necessary but not sufficient curiosity is required but which is not sufficient to complete the task necessary what is necessary your love for the topic will affect your motivation if you love the topic definitely you your motivation is more than the others and your speed or the working speed as well as the completion of the task is quite more than the others it helps if the topic was your idea definitely some ideas in our mind and if you think for the same definitely it is help to complete the task as so which is not sufficient it is it has to matter the other people as well so if this is related to the other people if the other people will do i am doing the same things it is not your passionate definitely it is the completion rate definitely it is not same as the others are again go for the generalizing how does this generalize what are the broader implementation generalize the topic generalize the ideas and with the same some brainstorming exercise are required think about the problem that you encounter in a day to day work or programming so if you are always thinking something new outside the box brainstorming sessions are there definitely at the end of the session we will get something concrete in our hand so whatever i told whatever i said uh, bad ideas are quite good than the no ideas so sometimes the bad idea can be converted into good ideas and it will be very helpful for the future research so new component some new research gap some new aspect can be introduced in a particular uh, we can say the discussion based on exercise and so next part is a research versus the decision problem so what is the difference between these two research problem and the decision problem may be closely related but especially it is a subject matter or problem solving research and with the help of this these are the research and decision problems are quite close but not exactly same also the decision problems and action problems usually go together to make a decision then act on it disciplinary research may not lead to a specific decision or action disciplinary problems are of interest within the discipline and the oriented to the generation of knowledge so sometimes the research is give something details related to the generation of knowledge and the details and decision problems uh, are interest to the within the discipline which is oriented to generation of more and more knowledge for the same research problem identification it is the most critical and important part of all the research if you getting the research problem research gap is there after the compilation of research gap research problem identification it is very good because you should focus with the help of research problem you should try to finalize the aim as well as the objectives of your research work which can be you should fulfill where in your research task the focus on both basic and applied research it is a reason justification of the research is very much important the problem identification and explanation effect the quality usefulness effectiveness and efficiency of the research more than other part of the research plan so the problem identification and explanation it gives the crystal clear idea what is the exact way exact method or exact procedure how to proceed to complete the task the research problem is the reason to research is being undertaken and with the same it is only a credible evidence that a clear understanding of the issue that has can be achieved so there is something different between the researchable problem and problematic situation researchable problem is the very specific problem at which the objective of the research are directed researchable problem it is a precise be specific specific details are there and it is not it's very directed to the objective of the particular uh, research work and it can also understood by constraining within the general problem 
also called as a problematic situation. So in a classification or differentiate, we can say uh, researchable problem is a specific problem and problematic situation is a general problem or phenomenic situation. Problematic situation are very large in scope and very many dimensions because it's a general problem having the large scope as well as the many dimensions. Uh, similarly, the researchable problem it is having are not researchable within the individual research project itself. Specific components are pro uh, problematic situations are it is less less broken into distinct components. The components, whatever the mentioning, confide in scope and complexity. It is also the sets of support a set of research objectives, resource constraints, time and money. Very important aspect regarding the research work, time and money. Because what is the time is we expect to complete the task as well as the funds, money or the funding funding opportunities are there. With the reference of this, it is try to proceed or we may proceed or not. Research from many individual projects can be combined to address the problematic situation. The possibilities are there depends upon area and topic. The research from the individual projects can be combined and the other. With the reference of this problematic situation, researchable problem, the problem statement. So what it mean by the the research problem is always linked to a more general set of problems. So it is useful to separate the problem statement into two parts. First is a general problem and second is a specific problem. The general problem is called as a problematic situation and specific problem is called as a researchable problem itself. Note that the specific problem is not necessarily small, but rather must be precise, specific, specified and capable of offering being addressed with the available resources. So with the same, I'm just going to introduce the problem, which is very general statement that progressively narrow the focus on more specific. However, if the reader of the proposal is already knowledgeable on the subject, the broad general discussion can be reduced. So before starting, at least some basic information, some basic knowledge we should have regarding the before proceeding of a particular problem itself. The problem definition should be tailored and expected audience. Uh, with the help of it is helpful to provide a description of the economic, social, political and institutional conditions in the country itself. The general problem statement stages of the specific researchable problem. The researchable, the specific problem narrow the perspective of the set of issues. It must be clarified what knowledge is needed. Second, the reason the knowledge is needed. What is the reason why the knowledge is required? Third, by whom the knowledge is needed and the potential purposes it could serve. So before proceeding for the same, either the first one general objectives or the specific objectives, these are the some important points we should always keep in our mind regarding the what knowledge is needed to complete the research. Also the results of the knowledge is needed. Some require the some uh, softwares we should know. Software skills are uh, soft skills are required regarding the soft uh, software skills are required. Some equipment is required. Operation of equipment is very much important for the same. Who will teach the software? Where I will learn how to operate the particular machines or the equipment and so on, and many more aspects which is helpful regarding the problematic situation to solve the problem and so on. The researchable problem must be sufficiently specific to be addressed with the available resources. Five important aspects. First is the time. Second is the research expertise. Third is the data. Fourth is the tools and financial support. Second part is the dimension of the problem should be described in objective neural rather than the subjective terms. Wheat production is the European economic community are overpaid. In the different way we can say wheat producer in the European economic community are the subsidies. So it is depends upon to how we can present the particular researchable problem in the different aspects and so. So we have to think accordingly for the same. The problem must be discussed sufficiently so that other people can comprehend it. So it is very important clearly describe, clearly uh, describe sufficiently. So it gives a clear idea regarding what is which types of uh, um, research will be going on. 
in the both way general as well as the specific problem statement also the researchers perceptions to the problems may be uh, may be intuitive they must be developed the logically and proper justification is required so in the research work justification is very important justification why you did this or why you use the particular processes or the method to complete the task so among the among the 10 or 15 or whatever the resources are available what are the models are available what are the methods are available among this why you choosing the particular one so if you are having the some proper and authenticate uh, clearly justification then and then only in the uh, uh, this research work will be acceptable the proper justification is very much essential to finalize the problem explanation in an effective manner next part is a plan of research the three types of studies is exploratory research then uh, descriptive research third is experimental research with the same it is a from decreasing uncertainty to increasing certainty when you go for the experimental research definitely the certainty will increase or high and if you go for the exploratory research the certainty the outcome which is not certain for the same we can go for the problem can solve within the three steps first is the obtaining relevant information about the problem and potential solutions which is called as a research component every research work the research component is mandatory is compulsory and the research component it should have a new one with the help of research gap try to find out the research component second one examine alternative approaches and choose among them decision component if you getting the research component then apart whatever i told whatever i said among the various opportunities or approaches or available resources choose among them why you are choosing the specific so among the 10 methods why you are choosing the first second or any one any two methods why you are not choosing the remaining eight methods so the choosing of all the approaches and the alternatives this is nothing but the decision component and after the decision component it is a action component we have to actually work on the particular aspect by using the methods or the models we have to work on the particular aspect determine how to implement the decision and take actions so these are the three important steps which are included in the research work first is the research component second is a decision component and third is a action component so use of data for the same first is required the data data can affect our awareness of a problem and how to pursue the problem it is usually advisable to examine relevant data in the process of developing problem uh, problem statements effectively utilization of data it is a very important aspect in the research work firstly collection of data and collect after the collection of data effectively utilization of data for example i am saying if we are having the 20 or 30 years data for any uh, continuously data and we are go for the simulation analysis so what we for first 10 year or 20 years we go for the simulation then next 5 years for the calibration and next 5 year data for the validation so accordingly this data can be used for the different aspect like a simulation calibration and, and validation and in such types of process using of data large amount of miscellaneous fact can be reduced by to use useful information with the help of this the objectives we can finalize the objective to do to achieve to estimate to determine to measure to evaluate likewise we have to just put it in a different aspect it is a purpose to accomplish general objective and specific objective if you go for the general objectives it states the main purpose of the study it should derive directly from the research problem statement once sentence is the best generalized statement it gives the generalized idea about your research work and second one is a specific objective a set or list of sub, sub objectives each of which contributes to achieving the general objectives means general objective 
uh, it can be divided into some small two, three, four, depends upon the work specific objective. And the, all the when all specific objective can be fulfilled, definitely the general objective will get fulfilled. So related to this, to developing problem and the objective statements. There is a no constant rule or procedure in developing problems or the objective statement. How it depends upon how much you know about the subject of the research. While finalizing the, finalizing the objectives, first you understand your subject well. At least broad area you should finalize. And with the help of the subject knowledge, information, try to finalize the objective statement. And if your knowledge of the subject is limited, you may start with a broad consideration of the subject. Whatever I told, big subject, first finalize the broader sense and then go for the concise and the precise one, which is very helpful for the finalization of the specific objective statement of your research work. Then narrow the focus on the segmentation into the logical component issues as well as the questions. They are the same things. It is a good idea about the researchable uh, researchable problem which might be developed at generous dimensions opposite from the previous examples and a logically and clearly written statement of problems and objectives often is most difficult part of the research if you go for the inquiry learning the process and the distributed exercise exercise these are the details giving them some points setting up the constant new theory developing deepening problems, seeking deep, uh, deepening knowledge, critical evaluation, etc. distributed, presenting research problems, creating working issues, likewise. For example, you are here and with respect to this, you have to finalize the ways. Many ways are there. You try to choose the correct way, which is very helpful to complete the task, to complete your research work. Otherwise, it is a vague. If you are choosing the wrong way, it is not possible to reach your expected or to get your expected outcome from the research work. The five step approaches for making the decision regarding the research work. Define the problem. Step number one, the define the problem. In the define the problem, the various objectives are there, some constants are there, some assumptions are there and measure of success. So all the points related to the definition, uh, defining the problems, it is club, Compile together and with the help of all the five first finalize the research problem and with the same the planning for the research research type alternatives and uncertainties. So in the second step, what are the alternatives are there? What are the options are there? What are the methods are there? Which types of research which can be possible? What is it possible for the same? What are the uncertainties are there? Many points regarding the planning for the execution of the research. It comes under the step two. Step three, collect relevant information. To fulfill the particular uh, objective as well as the to execute the planning, we have to collect the relevant information which is related to the concept, methods, data. Data might be the primary data or the secondary data. So all the various relevant information we have to club together, we have to compile together with the step three. After compilation, go for the analysis. Step four is a find a solution. Among these all, choose the best alternatives and implement the chosen alternatives. First, uh, choose the models or the method which can be used effectively to complete the task and uh, which gives the appropriate and good result as comparative to the remaining one. So with the help of this, find out to find out the solution, which is very important to choose the particular effective alternative which gives the good or best result for the same. And then step five, evaluate the result. After implementation analysis, you will getting the results, the decision and the decision processes. Sometimes the new methods or new models are developed at the end of the particular research. This is very helpful for the, for the to making the decisions while proceeding for any research work. Also, these are the very important 10 steps for the disease uh, for creating problem solving process. So first is the identify the problem. Second, define the work criteria goals, research and uh, gather the data, collect the data. After that, the brainstorming for the creative ideas 
analyze of the those ideas develop model and test make the decision communicate and the specify implement uh, implement and commercialize and review and assessment so all these are the 10 different processes which are very helpful for proceeding for the uh, is a creative problem solving process for the engineering design process these are the eight steps first step is identify the need or the problem what is the actual need according to this this is the step 1 then step 2 research the need of the problem if the problem is there we have to go for the again search research something new components are added into the problem particular problem or not if yes what are those components are there if not if some new components are not there so and some new methods new data new new information anything related to the particular problem we have to go for the research to complete the task to finalize the particular problem the third one develop possible solutions what are the possible ways or uh, processes or the methods which can fulfill uh, the particular objective and among these select the best possible solutions best possible method to complete the task this is the after the selection of the best possible task or situations construct the prototype you have to just go for the small scale small aspect just test it whether the you are uh, using the particular possible solutions effectively working or not if what if it is working the test it you know, test the particular proper prototype and uh, evaluate the solution what are after the testing we are getting some uh, results which can be very helpful regarding the evaluation and so seventh step it is a communicate the the solutions we have to go for the publications and many more aspect communicate to the particular agency uh, which is expecting some good results in uh, from your r and sector and so and go for the, again the redesign if it is required some new upgradations new development new um, enhancement regarding the particular technology or the methods are there or equipment is there material is there you go for the redesign and this is a continuous one after one again it is a continuous process similarly the, again the two different aspect the same things in the different aspect define the problem then the plan the solutions make a model test the model reflect and redesign this is similar but but in the five steps similarly the ask the uh, define the problem then the imagine the problem then the plan the problem for the same then the create the problem uh, to make a prototype improve the problem and go for the reflect and the redesign for the same this is the engineering design processes next aspect related to the engineering design aspect developing a generic approach to problem solving so these are solving visualized by the four key stages first one they identify uh, the problem they identify the plan the third one what might happen if work with the strategy and the measure so with that well, with the help of this the exploring the particular problem the de designing the particular uh, aspect or the uh, methods planning for action implementation and taking action actually monitoring and the learning so actual execution is very much important uh, to test whether the this uh, approach which is uh, correct or not and which is very helpful to problem solving or not itself these are the some give them some uh, detailed explanation for the all the stages exploring designing implementation learning monitoring and the contribute to new knowledge meeting the the need of the industrial sponsor fulfilling the expectation of the research and this helps to maintain as much of neutrality as possible in the research process and helps the research remains objective it is objective related which is very important because at the end of the day the decision or the objective should get fulfilled these are the, some steps to problem solving processes the problem solving processes with the gums in normative and the positive the problem definition observation analysis decision execution and responsibility bearing so regarding this everyone it is just uh, going to correlate to each other so or it is a model of problem solving is presented for parametric problem solving research which is uh, helpful for the um, problem solving research itself this model uh, is not relevant to the disciplinary research 
which is less likely to require decisions. The problem solving for the decision making is initiated with problem definition, which is a progresses to analysis, then decision making and actions follow to implement the decision, which is a normative and positive uh, knowledge are used interdependently impacting each step in the processes. So if you go for the details, it is a, uh, this line is for problem definition, observation, analysis, which is comes of normative and positive, which comes under the research part and uh, the bottom one is the decision execution and responsibility bearing, which is the problem solving. So with the help of dashed line separate this research uh, information generating from the problem solving process and the research components. So we have to focus on the first aspect related to the problem definition, observation, analysis in the normative as the positivistic way itself. So we can go further to mix the research and the decision aspect may fragment the researchers, the researchers attention and it may subsequently influence the outcome of the research. The research is not objective. Very important aspect. Sometimes the research part and the decision aspects get, get collaborate, get getting mixing to each other, which will helpful for the, um, you can say, to finalize the research processes for the taking the decision making as so. The uh, data is the primary data and the secondary data. So the, some advantages of the primary data, it is a more control over what is gathered and uh, disadvantage of the data is can be very expensive. Subject to investigator decisions can be useful only in the specific cases. And at the same time, secondary data, it is having the advantages less expensive, obtain more easily and rapidly. Disadvantages are could not old and outdated, uh, could be uh, collective periodically, maybe the wrong form, maybe the inaccurate. So um, what are the data requirements for the research work? Might be the primary, sometimes the primary, secondary, and so on, such types of data is required. Accordingly, we have to collect the data and analyze the data process. This is a typical design of the process model. What is the client need? Sorry, to, inter Sorry to interrupt you, sir. We also have a Q&A round. The time. Hello. Hello. Ah. Sorry to interrupt you, sir. We have also we also have a Q&A round. OK. Uh, so I think the five minutes, five, ten minutes. So I'm giving yes. you one sample. Yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. Uh, I will just go proceed because yes. uh, more details are there. But again, in the five minutes, I will complete. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, it is a typical design process model. What is the client need? And with the help of client need is the problem definition it is a clearly objective establishment requirement identify and so then the conceptual design, then the preliminary design, detailed design, final design and design communication. So these are the typical design process model for the research work. This is again we can go for the problem solving approach is the navigation, the explore, develop, engage. It is a psychology philosophy, information, need, and many more aspects. I have to just club together the problem solving approaches are there. Also, we go for the two important characteristics. What is the systematic characteristics, which is gives the details like uh, the problem identification, reviewing information, data collection, analysis and the result, and the conclusion. It is a systematic characteristics of the research. The five important steps every research should follow. Second one, the follow the scientific method, which is the inducive or deductive. Depends upon the to create constructive hypothesis from the casual ob observation and background uh, knowledge. Also, the deduction reasoning uh, add a new knowledge to the existing structure of knowledge itself. These are the same thing, casual uh, observations, whatever I explain, add a new applicable uh, knowledge in the particular. The major stages of work in the research work uh, the preparation of the research proposal, the organizing and conducting research, writing a research report, evaluating the research. And for this, the capability requirement, selecting and defining the research problem, describing methodology of research, collecting the data, analysis of data and interpreting of the results. Similarly, the selecting and defining research problems, describing methodology. Among all, 
if you go for many aspects are there to finalize which one is the best proper justification is required for the same uh, for each and every step which is included in the research work similar the data collection analysis of the data interpretation of the results and so so selecting the problems the many problems are there personal practice experiences critical study of literature interaction with the others it gives many inputs and among this you should try to find out the which one of the problem is which is appropriate correct to the according to your research point of view is very important aspect then the consideration of selecting a research problem it is the interest magnitude measurement of concept level of expertise relevance availability of data ethical issues are mere always speaking of the research it is very much important so the same point is there the interest the size the economy capability and limitations uniqueness we can say and the very important aspect i am going to hear the some basic information related to the insufficient processes create waste means if you go for the input for man machines material transformation mess processes these are the methods output product services improve processes by eliminating waste so here these are the some uh, outcome for the same with the help of this i am taking a case study of water water resource assessment for era river basin using the geospatial techniques this is one small case study regarding the engineering dissertation so what is the details uh, to get it's a water supply these are generally uh, the rivers tank reservoirs canals and the some lift irrigation schemes are the water supply to every sector for the rural sector as well as the urban sector and also it is a surface water sector and one is dug well and bore well is a uh, ground water sector but due to the over exploitation uh, of the water from the many resources is continuously decreasing the availability of water resources water supply similarly the water demand for the domestic purpose for livestock purpose for agriculture purpose in the dry as well as wet crops plus the industry is continuously increasing to fulfill the water supply and water demand we have to go for the water resource management water resource assessment is needed so first we have to understand why we are proceeding why we have to choose the particular topic particular areas and so with the same uh, what are the water stresses in the semi arid regions semi arid regions are the regions where the rainfall intensity is moderate and it is not high or not very low it is just we can say it is a moderate a a average it is a approximately 400 to 600 mm average uh, rainfall in a year so in the water state in a semi arid regions the uncertainty of rainfall amount in time and space Uh, second the dry spell during the wa crop water grow period it is reduce the crop yield and the drought conditions <coughs> it is a non availability poor managed water infrastructure these are the important points where whatever i am just mentioning the important points important problem problematic situations and some areas research gap here we can proceed for the research work and so go for the ground water extraction exceeds recharge demand exceeds availability water sharing issues for the upstream and downstreaming with the help of this these are the problem these are the issues with the other what, what is the motivation of this it is the water infrastructure were developed to meet the requirement go for the performance enhancement of water infrastructure need to be evaluated and special water supply and demand situation on a micro and micro level micro means a river basin level or sub basin level and micro level is a related we can say is a village as a unit as a level and with the help of motivation the objective of the particular research work is to develop a model for evaluation of water security situation on a macro and micro level of a river basin in a semi arid region this generalized statement is a general objective and the general objective again divided into the small three one first is to evaluate uh, water availability and surface water storage capacity of the basin second is assess the domestic and agriculture water demand and on micro is the basin and micro at the village level and evaluate the performance of water infrastructure so with the help of problem problem situations conditions decisions the situation the motivation and the objective general objective specific objective here and then starting for the research work and so with the help of go for the next one the methodology which is fulfilled which is required to fulfill the particular objective 
specific as well as the generalized. So these are the methodology which is used for the uh, fulfill the objectives. This is a study area. Here is highlighted era river basin in the Krishna River system. Which types of data? Data various data is used for rainfall, maximum minimum humidity, temperature, reservoir storage. The various resources are there, and where we use in the particular research. The last column is just showing the where we use such types of data. Go for the yeah, yearly rainfall analysis. Their trend, weekly rainfall analysis, rainfall spell to get. Why we have to go for rainfall spell? Means number of days between the one rainfall event to another. And these are the dry and wet rainfall for the all rainy stations. Significance is very important. Why we are doing every activity we are doing in the research? It should have proper significance. Without proper significance, don't do any work. Because just proper justification, proper just significance is required. So significance is supplementary irrigation is required, quality of water required, and the effect of crop growth. Crop growth. These are the justification significance. These are one model is used. The SWAT model, soil and water assessment tool. The model is used for the surface runoff. SWAT model inputs are there. Poor points. The details for the research work. Estimation of the surface runoff for the SWAT models. Month to month. The sedimentation yields. For the during the minimum and maximum rainfalls, it will be uh, for the particular basin, particular reservoir. It gives the details. Then the groundwater levels, monitoring station of the entire basin. Uh, what are the stations? Then the with reference to this standardized water level index, we have to go for the groundwater recharge classes. What the criteria for the same? The groundwater recharge of open dug well as well as the bore well, and the variations related to the hilly area and valley area. It gives the pink line shows the rainfall in a particular area where the rainfall is less. It shows sometimes the you know, uh, value SW index is more. It's clearly indicate that the recharge is less than the uh, extractions. So regarding the groundwater recharge of bore well, the water resource sources, the canal water sources. This is for drinkable for groundwater reservoir rivers and many more aspects are there. Area of irrigation in all the villages, according to the census of India, uh, in the census, the population census. Similarly, the remaining aspects, villages, number of households, number of irrigation areas in a particular village. All the details are given in the census. With the help of census, we are going for the irrigation area of irrigation, crop water demand for the kharif region, then the rabi region, then the hot weather. Then the yearly reason, what are the various types of uh, crops are there, their areas and their water requirements, standard water requirement, and we have to go for the same related to the crop water requirement, including all crop water requirement for the domestic, for the livestock, for the agriculture, total water requirement for the year and the storage availability. So here it shows this, some this figure shows the total yearly total water demand of the particular um, we can say the village throughout the year. Here the water infrastructures are there, lift irrigation scheme, uh, then the, um, uh, we can say the canals are there, uh, so reservoirs are there, reservoir induced uh, water supply schemes are there. It is the details are. These are the existing practical conditions of the water infrastructure. This uh, shows the uh, first uh, picture shows the sedimentation. These are the sedimentation. Here the canal linings are not there. Here the water is not reaches to the sluice gate. Major vegetation is grows on the fifth floor. These are the embankment wall. Small vegetations are grown up. Weed growth on the we can say the, on the main canal and the soil uh, this collapse side wall collapse in the mainstream. These are the existing condition of water infrastructure with the help of the performance assessment of water infrastructure. These are the new methodology. We can say the, what is the mean by research component. These are the in this work. This is a research component. We can say this is the performance of water assessment of water infrastructure. First is the reservoir storage efficiency. Second is the canal conditions. We have to go for the various classes, their ranks, and their weightages. And according to their weightages, we have to calculate the uh, prioritization of the all the infrastructures. Similarly, here the command area development. These are the various areas, the ranks, and the weightages. Reservoir storage efficiency. So in the area, the area, water spread area, the capacity of the reservoir, reservoir conditions for the uh, all the, their ranks, their scores and total scores. 
and with the help of this course then the prioritization of the work it can be done then for example maini talab is the first uh, bendavada talab is the second and near talab is the third one similarly for the canal condition same uh, method is uh, used to you of to create the particular assessment method criteria similarly command area development for all three and when you compile all these three reservoir storage efficiency uh, canal condition and command area development for prioritization of water infrastructure projects it gives the prioritization 1 2 3 4 and so on so these are the something new aspect related to the water sector research work and so surface water storage capacity buffer zone of the tanks and reservoirs we can say there the takar lift irrigation scheme their condition existing condition their performance performance indices relative water supply net irrigation requirement water use efficiency irrigation ratio sustainability of irrigated area water charges recovery and so on so and water users feedback so people feedback feedback users feedback we have to incorporate in the research work what the beneficiary people a uh, beneficiaries can directly include in the assessment of the particular uh, irrigation scheme so with the help of stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 and primary secondary and tertiary distributary their weightages and so it is calculated then the go for the water security for the go in year 2011 water demand scenario it is something new again it is a something new concept research component we can say research gap because such types of work is not did earlier we can so go for the life domestic livestock agriculture then the thumb criteria we can say 10% sugar cane 90% dry crops the uh, irrigation method is open channel as well as a drip similarly for the 3a 3b 3c and 3d means 10% sugar cane 90% dry crops second criteria is the 30% sugar cane 70% dry crops third is the 90% sugar cane 10% dry crops and uh, last criteria is the 100% dry crops and they require the total water requirement water requirement for the same and water availability surface water availability with the compile efficient of it is a water security assessment model for the semi arid basins villages it is developed here we can get the data or information use the special data non special data processes what are used for the going for the special and non special data analysis jo special database we have to what are the varied database we are generating analysis for the water demand water availability the domestic agriculture industry surface water ground water rainfall trend then the water deficit whether the excess village level or basin level water harvesting structure analysis scenarios perform assessment and improve the water storage structures and so so such types of model can be used around the globe where the similar conditions are there so these are the main outcome of the particular research work we can say the water security assessment model of the semiarid basin for the villages and with the help of the conclusion part is a water security assessment model is developed and demonstrated on a micro basin and micro village basin in semiarid basin this could be extended to the other basin in similar condition means what i said in the around the globe it can be used, uh, implemented also the performance assessment of existing water infrastructure has been developed is a which is a very critical parameter in the river basin management for the taking the decision third one the special distribution of vulnerable water security villages and their intensity of deficient adequacy were demarcated the downscaling of a water basin level information to village level was attempted and validated by ground reality and last one the sustainable crop type and irrigation methods suitable to this condition has been developed and uh, last one the extensive meteorological satellite images ground based data uh, including river gauge measurements for validation of uh, surface runoff is required in fine tuning the model this is the overall with the case study i am just saying the research gaps uh, uh, identification uh, the problems and the solution so it is a overall uh, uh, i'm just going to conclude here this uh, webinar uh, from my side uh, with the help of this case study and the various methods uh, regarding the we can say research identification of the research gap problems and the solutions thank you thank you very much hello sir we have uh, we have some questions uh, please ma'am no first 
is crowdfunding research work good option yes i'm i'm not getting man please is Hello? crowdfunding research work good option uh, no no uh, can you tell me one more time i am not your voice is not audible hello sir ha uh ha -huh. Please. Is crowdfunding research work good option? Depends upon the conditions, madam. Means uh, whatever I can say uh, depends upon the availability. Means all the points, whatever the points I covered, availability of the resources, uh, availability of the, especially the enthusiasm of the persons, maybe uh, maybe possible, maybe acceptable, maybe not acceptable. Depends, but uh, availability of the data. And availability of the resources is a plays a vital role for finalization of this. I think so. Sometimes we can modify it. Sometimes it can be the of uh, generally what are my observations after finalization of the topic or the objectives after going working on the some uh, uh, time. Maybe it is comes to know that it, this objective will not get fulfilled. Or the expected outcome we will not get from the particular object objective or the methods. So we have to divert it from the first to second and so such types of possibilities are there. Hello. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So next question: What are the various sources of research ideas? The for the sources of research ideas. We can say always think something. Means as a human being, if we think something continuously, definitely we will get some research ideas. And if you see around us in a society, young number of problems are there. It gives something resources ideas, means uh, research ideas, how to overcome the particular problem. Uh, for the same, again, I just want to say. We always try to update ourselves in our area of interest. Try to read the some papers continu continuously. Try to write the paper, present the paper, interact with the people, attend the some uh, lectures related to our work. It gives some uh, research, new research component, new research ideas, research gap, or the future scope of the research. It, it is possible. So these are the various sources of the research ideas. I think so. Thank you, sir. We have more question, but due to time constraints, we can't ask you more. Okay. Thank you, sir, by introducing us to identifying a research gap, what we have to consider for identifying the gaps, what tools and parameters are available, and many more aspects. Thank you, sir. I have a small token of our appreciation on behalf of Sakek Research Cell for you, sir. Okay, thank please you. accept it with our sincere thanks, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to just uh, be a part of your research cell. Thank you, your uh, organizing team, to giving me a chance, uh, giving me an opportunity to give a webinar to uh, on the behalf of uh, my college and your college. Uh, thank you all, dear participant, also. Thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.